after drawing in the floor joist containers for your project, you have the ability to go back and modify or change different aspects of them to better fit the needs of the project. For example, let's say that these J19 joists that are here have a longer span and need to be upgraded in a certain way. We can right click on one of them and choose the plies to be three plies. And you can see that single joist that I acted on got changed to three ply member. I can right click on it again and change that back to one ply and let's say instead I want to change the product for that member. I go to more products, click into the product selector and search for say a 3x12. Click OK and as I do notice a couple things that happen. First of all the label changes to J2 indicating it's a different type of joist and the joist got fatter to indicate that it's that larger 3x12. And over in the takeoff items list, you can see that that joist was broken out separately as a different line item. So we can make adjustments to a single member in a container, but we can also adjust several members at once. By holding down the control key on the keyboard, I can click one member and click another member at the same time. I can also select more by clicking a point on the page while I hold down control and dragging a box around the items that I want to select. So here I've selected many items and if I hold down control and right click a menu appears and I have different options to choose from of items that I have selected but I want to act on the generated members. So I go to product and more products click into the product selector and search for the 3x12. Make the selection and click OK and you can see the same changes are applied to them. They're J2s now and over in the takeoff items list they're 3x12s. I can roll those two 3x12 line items together by clicking on the roll up button and the two line items become one. We can adjust other things. For example at the edge of this container this floor joist here is probably not required so I can right click on it and choose to omit it and it's removed from the floor container. You can also handle the situations where you need to have an opening in the floor, such as for an HVAC or mechanical opening. Here we have one here over the garage. So I right click on the container and choose subtract a section. And we trace a box around the area that needs to be subtracted. And as you do, you can see that the floor joists have been cut back through that opening. We can also add members around that opening by right clicking on one of the joists in the containers and choosing draw more segments like this. Now I can draw additional joists in at locations where they might be required due to the opening. Draw that joist in there and then I can draw these two cross members along to support those other joists. I can also select both of these two cross members and indicate that they're flush so that hangers will be added on to those adjoining joists. So when it comes to customizing your floor joist containers, the tools are available to help you get the modifications done that you need.